All right, this is the beginning of the installation of our bed platform. We've got some notches in the bed from the factory on both sides. And so we got three two by sixes stretched across into the notches. You'll see that I've got double here. Well, the reason for that is that the distance from the bottom of this two by six to the bottom of the, the bed with the first board was like 11 inches. And so we already have some tubs that are 12 inches tall and 12 inches seems to be kind of a standard. So I spaced it up an inch and a half. And so now between the bottom of the board and the, the bed surface, we have 12 and a half inches to slide uh, things underneath their storage. So the next step is to put the uh, platform, the plywood platform on. Uh, this is pine two by sixes and I cut them to length and put in uh, a, a clear coat on top of it so that it kind of kills some of the pine smell. All right, this is a three quarter inch piece of plywood that I slid up on top of it. I've cut it down to six foot long. And as you can see, there's about six inches of overhang right here from the last two by six. But it really hasn't hurt it. It's got enough support to be able to do that. Now I'm working on it, positioning it side to side. I'll show you some uh, covers, some panels that I've got that fit on the side here and fit on the side here in just one second. Okay, now I've got the bed platform screwed down with some wood screws into the uh, cross beams right here. I've got three per cross beam, so that's nine screws. But you can see the panels that I've made over here that are removable. And, and I thought this was a pretty simple idea I saw on another uh, YouTube channel, just to drill a hole for a finger hole and so it's going to provide i'm going to have panels on both sides that will provide storage uh, gaps compartments for storage underneath there i thought that was a pretty good idea now this right here this uh since i made the bed platform i added that uh, breaker box and that breaker box is going to interfere with the bed so I don't know whether we're going to relocate the breaker, breaker box. I thought the box was above the level of the bed platform, but apparently not. I didn't measure correctly. So we, I'm going to bring the panels in here and see how I'm going to solve that interference problem. Because I really, really want to have a breaker box for these um, 110 outlets. Uh, I'm going to have a service panel indoor inside the, the uh, camper. So I'll take a look at it and we'll see what's going on. All right, now you can see that I've put a panel here and a panel here. And the purpose of these panels is to make defined storage in between these cross bars right there. And I'm going to put this panel right kind of in the middle, not right in the middle. There'll be a big side and a small side, but basically I'll have two long, narrow, six foot long, narrow areas to slide tubs in for storage here. And then I'll have smaller compartments, one above the fender well here, wheel well, and a very large one in front of the wheel well on each side. And that's what the removable panels are for on top. All right, now I've got the middle board attached with some L brackets, as you can see. And on the sides, I use some, just some straight brackets to attach it to those lower two by fours, the side panels right there. So you can see that angle and that they're attached since they're 
flush. But these were angle brackets. You can see the angle bracket right as up, up here. There's one in the back, way back there. One there and two up here on front and one on each side. And I'm letting the notches in the bed provide it with some uh, alignment in the bottom. It's not perfect, but. So this one's about 26 and this one's about 23. It's not right down the middle because sometimes you have packages or tubs that are wider and sometimes they're narrower. As you can see on this side, we have one of our tubs that we use for storing food. It's a sealable tub and it, um, it's a 60 quart Ziploc. It's got the little uh, foam rubber seal at the top and it's, uh, we bought it, I think at Lowe's. My wife uses it to store uh, various things in there that, especially foods that might have an odor to it keeps the odor out of the camper the whole installation in and i even cut the board back here for the uh box the breaker box service panel so it was designed the board was designed to go back up here in the corner but because this box right here is sticking out um i cut a notch here and the way the panel just slides out it's got a little finger hole here you just pick it up slide it out you can work on the service panel you can pick up the whole panel take it off you have storage down there and so now you have all kinds of Compartments, they're not watertight. Uh, most of the stuff that we put in there would be either in a baggie or in a tub, a small tub, or it'll be waterproof. So, uh, anyway, that's the, that's the latest on that. And there you see the overall finished product. So now we've got plenty of storage underneath. We've got storage compartments in front of the wheel wells. We've got storage tunnels here and here and because we have a long bed this is an advantage because most of the ones i've seen on youtube are short bed model trucks which is popular nowadays but we have about two feet of space here in front of the bed for our refrigerator and and all the other things that we might want to carry we're even thinking on getting a uh, portable air conditioner unit to put over here on one side because if we're tapped into shore power, 30 amps, we can use a portable air conditioner in here to sleep at night. It's just something we're thinking about. That wraps up this uh, installment. Thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, please uh, like the video and subscribe. More to come.